exactly how you would say that, okay? What I do know is that out there in these new threads, I felt like myself for the first time in a long time. And that's good news for this team and bad news for the rest of the league, okay? <laughs> and great news for the MP nuts. Yeah, MP nuts. You know, for the MP, I'm still trying to work out the Kings Frank. That's what I'm about to call my fans, the MP nuts. Well, you know, after the way you forced your way out of your previous stop, can this team count on you to stick around or should they be worried about a pattern or uh, some kind of behavior? Let me set the record straight, Frank. This team can absolutely count on me, okay? I'm happy to be here. I'm, I'm happy to be playing with these guys and I'm happy to do whatever I need to do to fit in with this new locker. Well, at least for now, right? Hey, yo, Frank, you got any more questions, man? Uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. <sighs> All right, I'm good. Thank you, guys. Here we go. I knew this was coming. I got a lot of you fools in my mentions over MP's first game with his new team. Only a fool despises wisdom, okay? You think one good game means something? Well, I got news for you. One good game doesn't prove you're allowed to act like he did. And I need to see a lot more from this kid before I crown him. Let's see him make an all-star team. Let's see what he does in the playoffs. Y'all out here tripping over one game? Please, you've got to show me a lot more than that to get my attention. Carry on. Coach G, what's going on? Hey, look, I got to be honest with you. When my agents told me they was hiring you, I thought they was pranking me. Am I that bad? Ah, come on, look, you know you my boy. This is the best news I heard all month. Yeah, well, Harvey didn't want a walking, talking reminder of how things went south with you, hanging around the training facility. Yeah, I see. Yeah, and luckily put in a good word with this ownership group, so here I am. Look, I told you my actions wouldn't affect you. Eh, I'm not sure that's the lesson here. <laughs> okay, look, I was just playing, man. Look, it's dope that you're here. And honestly, I wouldn't have been able to live with myself if you would have gotten fired over me. Yeah, well, I think you would have figured out a way. Uh, I mean, yeah, but it's, it still would have hurt. <laughs> you know, I used to think you were adorable. Now I think maybe you're just devious. Hey, look, Coach, I got to keep him guessing. A little mystery's part of the brain, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, I think we're done here. Good to see you, MP. Good to see you, Coach. Myself for the first time in a long time. And that's good news for this team and bad news for the rest of the league, okay? <laughs> And great news for the MP nuts. Yeah, MP nuts. You know, for the MP, I'm still trying to work out the Kings Frank. That's what I'm about to call my fans, the MP nuts. Well, you know, after the way you forced your way out of your previous stop, can this team count on you to stick around or should they be worried about a pattern or uh, some kind of behavior? Let me set the record straight, Frank. This team can absolutely count on me, okay? I'm happy to be here. I'm, I'm happy to be playing with these guys, and I'm happy to do whatever I need to do to fit in with this new locker. Well, at least for now, right? Hey, yo, Frank, you got any more questions, man? Uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. <sighs> All right, I'm good. Thank you, guys. All right, Kristen, so what's the word? You got some news for me? I do. Okay, and? The trades that go. To where? You're working with the best MP. You think we'd get you anywhere but your top destination? <laughs> Yo, stop. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. Look, I like <laughs> jokes as much as the next guy, but I wouldn't kid about this. It's done. Pack your bags. Pack your bags, <laughs> baby! <laughs> yes! Hey, yo, I gotta call Ricky. I gotta... Kristen, Kristen, look, oh my God, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are a real it one. It was a group effort, but thank you. We're, we're really happy we can make this work for you. Hey, pack your bags. I'm packing my bags and I'm gone, baby! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey, yo, how was Harvey? Did he throw a fit? I don't think you're going to the Christmas party this year. <laughs> look, I heard it wasn't my kind of scene anyway. <laughs> you got exactly what you wanted. You can't make a move like that the way you guys made it and not lose a few friends along the way. Hey, look, like Ricky says, this is a business, and we was ready for that. 
And as far as I'm concerned, this is a positive. Look, man, I'm not afraid of the spotlight here. That was fantastic. So it looks like we're all doing pretty great then. <laughs> Only thing left is for you to prove you're worth the hassle. Oh, absolutely. That's, That's easy. That's not a problem, right? No, ma'am. Great. <laughs> Hey, look, Kristen, I'll be at you soon. See you later. I'm excited! <laughs> All right. It's kind of crazy how similar this apartment is to our last one, huh? Kind of freaked out, to be honest with you. <laughs> Don't be freaked out, man. It's just called interior decorating. Bro, even the, the layout's the same. Everything. Dog, you know that, like, three companies build all the high-rises in the city. It's not that crazy. This is depressing, bro. The sameness of it all. What is this? Depressing? What, are you an architecture buff now? I just would like a little originality, homie. I'm not trying to be controversial. Okay, well, I'm sorry. Is that what you want me bro, to say? Bro, I'm just saying, are you good? Like, are you anxious? What's the problem here? Look, anxious ain't the right word, but... Look, you got a lot of eyes on you right now. And after everything that's happened, I mean, this trade is a huge story. As it should be. Look, just... Go out there and put your best foot forward tonight, all right? I don't need you turning it over and bricking shots just because you're trying to prove a point. If you do, the media will bury you. Is this supposed to be a pep talk, bro? It's just the truth. Yes, you have fans that love you, but you've also got a sizable group that hates all that you're about. And if you don't deliver, they'll make sure you hear about it. Ricky, there's always pressure, bro. This is why I get paid what I get paid, okay? I got this. Stop sweating it. All right, man, I just, I want to make sure everything goes great for us. That's look, all. Look, you did the manager thing. I right, sit back, take it easy. All I got to do is hoop. Yeah. yeah, and if you play well enough, maybe we can get you a more original crib on your next contract. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking something with some penthouse vibes. Yeah. It'll look different. I promise. All right, all right. Hey, MP, does winning Rookie of the Month help gain the respect of the vets on your team? Uh, I don't even know where to start with that one. Um, no, the vets don't care about those awards. That's got nothing to do with anything. Okay, so would you say you've earned the respect of the vets in the locker room then? Yeah, of course. Does it look like they don't respect me to you? Well, well, locker room chemistry is a tricky thing, right? And, and you don't always know what's going on behind the scenes, which is why I'm asking. Okay, all right. Well, yeah, they respect me. Look, I respect them. We all respect each other, and it's, it's a great thing. There's a lot of respect to go around. All right, no more questions? Thank you. Oh, do we have big news today <laughs> in our basketball world is that our old friend MP officially wants out. We knew this thanks to an embarrassing interview he gave to Candace Green of the pin down. Not only did he confirm that he wants a trade, making this way too public, but he talked about where he wants to get traded. This kid is an embarrassment to the game. What have you done to demand a trade this early in your career, MP, and then make it all public like this? You're making it impossible for your GM, who overruled his coach to draft you, by the way, to get a good return for you. It's an embarrassment, plain and simple. But what do you expect from this so-called YouTube star? Not about the game, all about the fame. Carry on. just won't be immediate. And as always, the better you ball, the more options you have available to you. Okay, cool, so so what's next? 
Well, the first thing we need to do is figure out where you want to play basketball. So I'm going to need your top three destinations. Top three? I thought I thought I'd just come we're, in here. We're and just going to you... poof, make it happen for you. Uh, well, yeah, I mean. <laughs> All right, look, look, look. It's a possibility. We are very good at what we do. We exhaust every avenue to get our clients what we want, but you don't have a no trade clause. And in reality, people don't always get their first choice. So yeah, we need you to make a list. Three preferred trade destinations. And then this way, you have a couple of good options and the team has the flexibility to not feel like they're getting raked over the coals by you guys. MP, you know they don't even have to trade you if you don't want to, right? Yeah, I hear you. That, that sounds fair. Okay. Three's good. I can make that work. I'll make it work. Hey, yeah. MP, this is the fun part. Where do you want to go? Awesome. Okay, so, so what now? Well, if you want this to happen quickly, we can be aggressive, but it comes at the cost of more or less ruining the relationship with this front office. So if you can wait a little, we can work a little closer with them to ensure that everyone walks away feeling like a winner. No hard feelings. So I want to go the no hard feelings route. Okay. You know, this is a business and we need to see the long game. Yeah. I just don't know if this is the right decision for my future, but. If you're comfortable waiting for a solid trade package to take shape, then that's the route we take. And we're still going to get you someplace totally acceptable. It's just going to take a little time. Cool. Yeah. So how do we spin this narrative? You know, the press, they go be all over this. You can acknowledge a desire to be traded, MP. We don't need you to hide that. Mm -hmm. But you can't get specific. Don't talk about where you want to go, for right. instance. That'll dry up the trade market for you and make you an enemy and Harvey Lesser real quick. I see. So what are we thinking? Look, ladies, I got to get out of here, like, yesterday. Great. Then we take it public. No hesitation. Don't be surprised if your list of trade destinations gets leaked in the next couple of days, okay? Yeah. In the meantime, go relax. We're going to take care of it for you. Copy that. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank I'll you. see you soon. Yeah. Take care, MP. Time to get on the phone. Talk about this Kendrick Perkins report. What about it? Look, Perkins is a big... Look, I don't know where he getting all this from, bro, but I ain't say nothing to nobody. But it's true. I mean, I've been thinking about it, yeah. Well? Well, this, this ain't the first place I want to go to anyway. You know, then you got all that drama, and I'm just starting my career, bro. This, this just don't feel right, man. Like a gut feeling. Yeah, like, like that feeling you get when you're about to do something so stupid. <laughs> yeah, like when you tried to dunk on your dad in seventh grade. He fouled me. He didn't. Look, my point is this. I, I feel like that when I think about staying. Bro, I only feel good when I think about leaving. That's, that's the honest truth. So you want out? Yeah. You mad? Mad? Dog, this is your career. No, I'm not mad. And everything you're saying is right on. I mean, you didn't want to go in the first place. It really hasn't been the best situation, and sounds like you just want a fresh start. I think that's fair. Okay, so what we do now? Well, lucky for you, I already made an appointment with your agents. <laughs> I did that when the rumors broke. I figured they were just going to tell you to weather the storm, but I mean, now that you actually want to leave, I guess I'll go with you. Hey, look, we can figure out a strategy. We can get on top of this thing now. Yeah, that's why you pay me. <laughs> I may throw you in a little Christmas bonus, too. <laughs> yeah, I won't say no. I appreciate you, Rick. Anytime. Hey, y'all. I got to talk about this interview MP gave to my boy, Frank Valentine. First of all, nice scoop, Frank. You did good here. Second of all, I told y'all, this relationship is doomed. Dirty laundry in the press, finger pointing, complaining. Speaking of which, now I'm hearing MP wants out entirely. Does this surprise me? How do you salvage this relationship between him and coach after all he's done and so publicly? 
I know I wouldn't want this YouTube star on my team after all that. I hate to say I told you so, but if the shoe fit, wear it. This was a bad idea on day one, and it's a bad idea today. If I'm Harvey Lesser, I cut my losses and trade this kid immediately. He's not worth it. I've got to ask, is there anything you can't do on offense? Uh, no. Okay, care to elaborate on that? What do you want to know, John? I'm an open book. Okay, all right, let me rephrase. What do you think is the weakest part of your game? Is there one? You asking me to choose my favorite skill, John? That's, that's like asking me to choose my favorite child. They're all my children. My handles are just as important as my shot, which is just as important as my court. How you doing, sir? There he is. You must think you're pretty slick with that little stunt you pulled. Look, man, I'm just doing what it takes to get what I deserve. Oh, yeah, and if you alienate your coach and your GM and your teammates, then so be it, as long as MP gets oh, what he deserves. Come on, you and I both know I deserve to that start. That doesn't mean this is how you go about doing it. You went to social? You that left me, no are you kidding me? Worst players get cut for stuff like this. It's, it's, this is what I had to do, and I'm not worst players. Yeah, well, you got what you wanted. You're in the starting lineup. Wait, wait. Are you serious? Yeah, when that little tweet or talk or whatever you put out there went viral, ownership wanted to get involved. They Yo. called, they asked what on earth was going on. We sat around, we talked about it, and Coach was unable to make his case. Wait, wait, hold on, what you say? I said I think you deserve to play. I said I've always been a fan of yours on the court, but this is not how you go about getting what you want. Hey, look, 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 look. I'm not trying to ruffle any feathers, but I appreciate that. You Thank you. You tell yourself that when you look in the mirror? You know I got to look out for myself. You know this. Well, you did just that. Hey, look, we good, Mr. Lesser? Back it up on the court, MP. I'm not kidding. I got you. Got you, sir. Oh. <clears throat> Are you enjoying your newfound bad boy status? <laughs> I like it. Look, <laughs> I like it, to be honest, uh, especially because it's for a just cause. Yeah. Man, you know me better than anybody. I'm not somebody who lets the world tell me what I'm worth. I define that. As you should. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, I booked an interview for you. Okay. To sit down with Frank Valentine to clear the air. <laughs> So not clear the air. Well, Got it. The the idea isn't to burn bridges, but you're aware management isn't going to like what you have to say. So it's okay to approach the interview from a place of delivering a hard truth, you know? For sure. Yeah, I guess it's a fine line to walk to avoid coming off sounding like an entitled brat, huh? Yeah. Just never forget that the coach is who's in the wrong here. Don't let them make you feel ashamed of speaking the truth. You got this. We got this. <laughs> How you doing, Frank? Oh, hey there. Good to see you. Okay. Ah, well, shall we begin? All you, Frank. What you got? Okay, well, let me look at my notes here real quick. Okay, I'd like to talk about the controversy surrounding the like of a tweet from user Start MP, you idiots, which states, and quotes... <laughs> Uh, free my boy MP. I swear y'all clowns wouldn't know Michael Jordan if he smacked you in the face. Right, okay, I know that one. Uh, okay, uh, could you tell me what was meant by liking that tweet? I mean, is it your belief that you're not being uh, properly maybe utilized by the coaching staff? Well, I think it's pretty self-explanatory, Frank, don't you? Now, now, for those who might be a little slow on the uptake, why don't you break it down for us then? Um... I want to play, and I think I can help. It's as simple as that. Plus, I appreciate my fans, so if I get a compliment, I just say thank you. That's that's how I am. By liking a defamatory tweet. Man. You said it's defamatory. I see someone who supports me, so I appreciate that. Look, fans are allowed to get emotional. That's what they do, and I support the fans for doing what they do. Okay, okay. So have you talked about this episode with your coach or front office, perhaps? Like, what do they think about all this? Hmm.
look, they know I want to play. And they think I'm not ready for more minutes, so it is what it is. So, so they must have expressed dissatisfaction with how you chose to express those sentiments so publicly then, right? Look, they're not happy about it, just like I'm not happy about my minutes. You don't always get what you want in life. The world just keeps spinning, Frank. That's how it goes. All right, MP, do you have time for one more, perhaps? I'm so sorry, but I actually got to head out. Okay, all right, all good. No worries. Best of luck next game, all right? Hey, look, thank you, Frank. I'll catch you soon, man. All right, we'll see you then. All right, I got a question. Yeah. Regarding the social media post that you liked, it seems safe to assume you were trying to send a message. What message were you trying to send to the team? Look, Frank, I don't send messages through social media. I do that through my play on the court. <laughs> During the few minutes I get to be out there, you know? All right, well, would you say getting yourself trending was the goal? Trying to force the conversation? I'm a human highlight reel, Frank. I don't know why I'm not always trending, to be honest with you. And I guess maybe people ain't seeing enough of your boy. Well, I guess they're not, MP. Thanks. <laughs> Got your tongue tied, Frank. <laughs> Wait till you see me on the court. I'm not surprised at all that MP was stooped this low. I told y'all, he didn't like the coach. And you know what that little channel of his, he wants the drama, is good for ratings. Believe me, I know. And can we talk about this tweet for a second from user start MP, you idiots? First of all, is that your burner, MP? I refuse to believe a real person would name themselves that. Second of all, the tweet said, and I quote, free my boy MP. I swear y'all clowns wouldn't know Michael Jordan if he smacked you in the face. Are you kidding me, MP? You think you're Michael Jordan? And you want to talk about clowns? The only clown here is you, running around with your Twitter fingers, acting like a fool like this. Keep drinking the Gatorade that fast because I work out and I have to refuel. Because I watch two movies and a podcast. Mm, how were they? Not that good. Don't it feel better when you tell the truth? I do not. Hey, yo, Rick, my phone been blowing up, G. Oh, good. That means it's working. What do we do now? Now, we wait for it to become a thing. More waiting? Look, it'll be like a day or two max. Internet outrage <sighs> machine will probably get around to it once they figure out what else they're mad about today. Look, I'm tired of all this waiting around, bro. Yeah, I know, because you're a guy that likes to take action. It's one of your better qualities, but for now, just sit tight. Let your team handle it. I mean, that's why you got us, right? You yeah. just focus on hooping. We'll take care of the rest. Yeah. I don't know what you're thinking, but you're way out of your depth, MP. This isn't how you handle oh, your I business. I gotta look out for myself, coach. Who else go look out for me, huh? Who go do it if I don't? Tell me. All right, but hey, hey, hey. Forgetting for a minute that there are literally a million other ways to take care of yourself that don't include airing your dirty laundry on social. What do you think I'm doing here? It's been out for you since day one. You gotta do what you gotta do. I gotta do what I gotta do because we both gotta put food on our tables, okay? It's not personal. That look personal to you? It is what it is. I'm not about to be concerned with what another man think about me. Okay, coach? I'm not doing it. It's your life, MP. But what you do affects 
those around you. And if, if you can't see that, you got a lot more growing up to do than I thought. You just gotta be yourself. You know, trying to be me isn't gonna work. And I mean that not from a place of ego. There's only one you, and trying to emulate someone else might not work because there's only one of that person too. Everybody wants to be Jordan for a while, right? And that's great if that's how you are, the hyper-competitive type, the, the guy who wants to be the underdog or count it out so he can prove everybody wrong, but not everybody's built that way. And if you're not built like that, you can't approach the game the same way. And luckily, that's not the only way to win. So be yourself. Be the best version of yourself and don't worry about the rest. That's what I say to everybody. <sighs> All right, I'm good. Thank you, guys. <sighs> All right. Let's take some questions. So what does it feel like to own the Bill Russell Finals MVP trophy? It feel good, John. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited I could barely get MVP out. Hey, man, that'll do it to you. Yo, John, this is crazy, man. I'm sure I'll be staring at it for months before I realize it's like, it's actually mine. John, do you know who held this trophy? You got Kobe, uh, Michael Jordan, and LeBron. They all held it, and now it belongs to me. Oh, man, look, I'm still wrapping my head around it, but uh, this moment is special, and I'm, I'm just, I just don't want it to end. I may actually sleep with the trophy tonight. Two very important questions here. One, where is the trophy going to go in the house? And two, what is the first thing you're going to do this offseason? It's beautiful, ain't it, John? Um, it's gonna look real good on my mantle. Um, this is it. This is the tangible results of a lifetime of dedication. And it's, it's rare that you get to see all your work sacrificed and crystallized into a brilliant golden ball, but that's one of the advantages of playing basketball for a living. This is crazy. All right, that's gonna do it. Thank you, guys. Hey, when I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And I was wrong about MP. What can I say? He's got what it takes. He helped his team win a chip. Respect for real. All that being said, we need to pump the brakes on all that legend talk. How many rings does MJ have? Kareem, Tim Duncan, LeBron, Shaq. MP is a special talent, but is he that nice? That remains to be seen. Well, 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 Perk was wrong. Looks like it's time for me to eat a little crow. MP was just named the regular season MVP, and guess what? He deserved it. That's right, I was wrong about the so-called YouTube star. So-called? No more, my brother. You can hoop. Simple as that. And I'm man enough to admit I was wrong. Are you man enough to accept my apology? I've always tried to call it like I see it, and right now I see what everyone else sees. The best player in the game today. Congratulations, kid. Can't wait to see what you got in store for us next year. I mean, wow. We're one win away from MP winning a chip. In addition to being a front runner for Rookie of the Year and MVP, that's something nobody has done in the history of professional basketball. Can the kid do the impossible? He's been proving me wrong all season, and I'm not about to bet against him now. That's right. I'm on the MP train fully. Shoot, I'm driving it. 
MP is the truth. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. And Smart Money says he gets it done tomorrow night. And I'm an MP believer, baby. Carry on. I'll check out my Twitter page. I got some new gear dropping. Now, we know about how the fans feel, but what is making it to the finals so early in your career mean to you personally? <laughs> Hey, look, man, this is great for my brand, which is winning. I'm a winner, John, and I told you that when they brought me here, and I'm, I'm going to deliver that right on schedule. Look, get ready, because as long as I'm here, this is what it's going to be like. You're setting your expectations pretty high. Why well, hesitate, John? If you got it, you got it, and this team got it, and so do I. So we about to be playing for the NBA championships, man. All right, no more questions? Thank you. About you. Oof. I think his exact words were, I think I was wrong about this kid. Wow. Yo, look, that'd be nice to hear him say it, but I take it. Well, he might have to wait on that because he's a prideful guy. But just know, I mean, a lot of people proud around here this year, okay? Myself included. Look, man, I appreciate that, seriously, because this ain't been easy on me. You know that. I know, I know, but you made it through. Yeah. And here we are. You're on the verge of something special. Look, <laughs> I just hope I can keep making y'all proud. Look, that's all I ever want to do. That's all I ever want to do is make y'all proud. Yeah, well, you have, okay? And whatever bumps have come along the way, you made it through, and we're here now, and that's what's important. Yep. Now you got to finish what you started. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Most of the time, that mismatch is me against whoever's trying to check me. Well, did you feel like they should have brought the double team sooner? You should ask them that, Candace. All I know is we're still playing and they ain't. So, yeah, probably. Okay, so do you think you can win in the next round playing the same way? Or will you have to adjust to your opponents? Look, Candace, our opponents need to adjust to us. We want to roll as you saw tonight, and no one can stop us when we play to our ability. And guess what? We got me. What else you need? Okay, well, do you think the level of defense is going to rise as the playoffs continue? You know, I'm sure it will, but I'm planning to raise my game as well, Candace. I got levels you haven't even seen yet. All right, no more questions? Thank you. My favorite time of the year, the NBA playoffs. Who wants to smoke? This is where legends are made. LeBron King James, Kobe Mamba Bryant, Michael Jeffrey Jordan, Larry Legend Bird. If you want to be an all-time great, you got to do it on the biggest stage, under the brightest lights, with the most pressure possible. That's what separates the good from the great, the real from the fake. If you're a fraud, you'll get exposed in the playoffs point blank. Things get physical this time of year, and you get every team's best shot every single night. If this doesn't get your blood pumping, then you don't like basketball. Straight up. It's playoff time, baby. Let's get it. How you doing? Denise, MP is here. I need a couple minutes with him that I gotta call John Luck. So why don't you move my 11 o'clock to 11.15? Move my 11.15 to noon. Bump my lunch to next Wednesday. Move my one o'clock to seven o'clock. Oh, call my husband. Tell him I'm going to be late. And then bump up my 1.30 by 15, but add a quick chat with Harvey in its place. Oh, and happy birthday. Yo, what? You, you gotta be tired of talking to people all day. I love it. And by the way, some of those people talking are starting whispers of the name MP and the phrase Rookie of the Year. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard some of that. Look, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Obviously, it's not in the bag yet, but the powers that be let me know that they want me to set up an interview with you and John Luck. Okay. Your play is going to be doing most of the talking, but an interview like that might raise your profile and get those whispers a little louder. What do you think? Of course, man. Look, winning Rookie of the Year, that would be amazing. So anything I can do to help, I'm there. Great. 
I'll set up an interview with John Luck and send you the details as soon as I have them. Cool. Keep up the good work. Now get out. There she is. <laughs> See you later, Miss Hanover. See you later. All right, y'all. How we doing today? Hey, man, major props on making the Rising Stars Challenge. Thanks, John. And what does it mean to you and your team to earn this honor? No, John, it's, it's okay, it's nice, but I don't think anyone's gonna remember who was in the Rise and Star Challenge years from now, though. Aw, oh, come on. You must be losing track of all the accolades you've received by now. Guess you could say that, but don't get me wrong, I deserve this, no doubt, but there are much bigger fish to fry. Speaking of superstars, Jalen Rose told me recently that All-Star Weekend is like the biggest party in all of sports. How much are you looking forward to the hoopla surrounding the games? You know I love hoopla, John. <laughs> it's true. Man, you're one of the biggest hoopla fans I know. Look, no doubt. I like to get in there and mix it up. See and be seen. Look fresh, act fresh, be fresh. That's my motto. Oh, come on, man. You have to put that on a t-shirt. Look, act, be. Yo, hey, I kind of like that. Could be something that I, I see, John. Good looking out. <sighs> All right, I'm good. Thank you, guys. You know, with the rise of player activism in recent years, I'm wondering if you've given any thought to using the platform of the All-Star Game to shine a light on causes that are important to you. Mm. Um, that's, that's something I have on my mind. I've seen a lot of players speaking out on social issues over the past year or so, but I haven't had much time to get anything going on the front for the All-Star Game. But I've got a few ideas, so hopefully you'll hear from me, you know, if some of those things come to fruition. Can you share what sort of issues you'd like to address? <laughs> um, I don't want to get too into that right now, but I'm a very political guy and I have a lot of strong feelings on things we need to do for our community. So whether it's All-Star Weekend or just some other time, you'll be hearing from me more when things, you know, start to happen in the future for sure. Okay, let, let's change gears. Uh, any favorite moments from All-Star Games past? Oh, yeah. Um, you know I'm a student of the game, Candace, so I've studied up on this, watched old games on YouTube and all that, and I think, yeah, 2003 is probably the best actual All-Star game from a competitive standpoint. It's the, it's the only one that went into double OT, so that says it all right there. Plus, it was Jordan's last All-Star game, and he was in Washington while he was on the Wizards, so that was cool. So the whole thing was fantastic. 2003 for sure, yeah. 2003, great stuff. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right, that's going to do it. Thank you, guys. <sighs> okay, so you've got fame, fortune, you're the top overall vote getter for the All-Star team. So what's left for you to accomplish then? Look, for one, a championship. And then once we do that, we got to do it again. Well, a bold proclamation there. Now, is that a guarantee you win this year's title? Look, my sights are set so far beyond one title right now. It's <laughs> but, but, but the first one will come this year. Is that what you're saying? It might. We're the front runners. But I haven't been to the playoffs yet, and I'm humble, so we'll see what happens. But I guarantee you this, once we get the first, it won't be the last. You know, I want to do what LeBron couldn't do in Miami. Five, six, seven chips, all with one team. The only thing I'm competing against is history at this point. Okay, well, you've been a public figure for quite some time now. And now you're an NBA superstar. And on top of that, uh, so I'm wondering now, is there anything the public hasn't learned about you? Look, 
I'm like an onion, Frank. The more you peel, the more layers you find. So yeah, there's a ton of people haven't discovered about me. Look, I'm really passionate about fashion and music, and I'm an entrepreneur, so I'm looking to do a lot more down the line. Well, like, okay, such as what? Basically, I'm, I'm trying to build my own thing outside of this corporate structure. I don't want to be beholden to Nike or Adidas at the end of the day. I want to be my own boss. Like, why should they make money off of me when they can't do what I do? I want to take what, what Big Baller brand is doing and take it to the next level. Um, but that can only happen if I reach my potential on the court. So that's still my main focus right now. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you.